Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. It has just been said by Atahiru Jega, who have just said that corruption under President Mohamed Buhari's administration drains billions of dollars yearly from the Nigerian economy. It is not new. We all know about this. And this Atahiru Jega also is one of the people who have contributed to this present situation in Nigeria. And I'm sure you agree with me on that because... These are one of the people who have accepted underage voting in the uh, Northern Registration. And these people voted and make sure that President Mohamed Buhari became the president of Nigeria. And these same people are the ones who are crying out. I think Jega should be apologizing to Nigerians for what they've caused. Because these are the people who have said it is either Buhari or no other person. See, corruption in the Buhari government drains billions of dollars yearly from Nigerian economy. They never thought about this before imposing Buhari on Nigerians. Well, we would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news. Or coming across this channel for the very first time, don't just watch and leave to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get you notified anytime we post a new update. And also a big shout out to our existing subscribers. I want to say a big thank you to you. For liking, sharing, and commenting, I want to employ you to continue to do so, and as you do, remain blessed. Now to the full gist of the news. A former chairman of Nigeria's electoral umpire, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Atahiru Jega, has said that no amount of disagreement can change the fact that Nigeria has been globally recognized as one of the most corrupt country in the world. Jega made the assertion while speaking on the topic, corruption and the education sector in Nigeria. In his keynote address at the fourth national summit organized by the Independent Corrupt Practice and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, the summit was on the theme, Diminishing Corruption in the Public Sector at the State House Conference Center, Abuja. According to him, corruption drains billions of dollars yearly from the country's economy under the present government, and Nigerians struggle daily to cope with its effects. Jega noted that Nigeria had been dubbed as one of the most corrupt countries in the world and has also been ranked one of the most complex corruption environment and in you know, perennially ranked in the bottom squatal of transparency international corruption perception index nigeria's 2021 rank is 154 out of 180 that is 154 out of 180 countries with a score of 24 over 100 according to transparency.org to paraphrase chanwa achibe the trouble with nigeria is corruption no matter how we disagree with transparency international it on its methodology and criteria for ranking countries using the Corruption Perception Index, CPI. This is globally recognized, and the creation has, also, you know, has already been created that Nigeria is terribly engulfed by corruption. As is often said, perception sometimes is more consequential than the reality, Jega said. Speaking further, Jaga explained that this relatively very poor record and ranking is essentially on account of the humongous corruption associated with what is known about its extent and magnitude in the Nigerian public sector, especially at the federal level. He added that corruption was more embedded at the state and local government levels upon which less attention was focused. 
He lamented that corruption is the single greatest obstacle preventing Nigeria from achieving its enormous potential as it drains billions of dollars a year from the country's economy, stymies development and weakens the social contract between the government and its people. Hence, Nigerians struggle daily to cope with its effects. Jega further stressed that the endemic and pervasive nature of corruption in Nigeria negatively impacts human security as well as democratic and socio-economic development. This is essentially because the nature, extent and dimension of corruption are no doubt associated with bad governance and the inadequacy of institutional framework of effectively you know, to effectively address it. Hence, public officials occupying elected or appointed public offices in trust convert those for private gains, often with impunity and crass discard for due process, accountability and ethical conduct. He therefore noted that to ultimately address corruption decisively and impactfully, if not permanently, in the Nigerian public sector requires remarkable systematic value additions to governance and democratic development. In the short to medium terms, however, a comprehensive targeted sec sectorial or multi-tier anti-corruption campaigns with an excellent legal framework, strong anti-corruption agency or institution led by selfless and fearless appointed public officers you know, or officials would bring about incremental positive changes. Clearly, we should focus on this while we work hard to improve and develop our country's governance framework and system and accelerate democratic de development, a key aspect of which is increasing and improving the integrity of our elections. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this plan development? Corruption under Buhari drains billions of dollars yearly from Nigerian economy. Usman reacted to this and said, The same Buhari you impose on Nigerians in 2015 by allowing underage registrations and elections manipulations in the north. What you owe Nigerians is apologies, not discry. That is what has been said by Usman reacting to what Atahiru have said about Buhari's government, saying that you owe Nigerians an apology, not you know this cry you are doing because you people are responsible for underage registration and election manipulations in the north that led to Buhari becoming the president of Nigeria. What is your take to this? I would like you to let us know your own reaction on what has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.